Let's talk about power steering. So the Army Land Rovers never had power steering originally. Uh, they just had a manual steering box. It's fine at high speed and it's horrible at low speed parking and that sort of thing. Uh, what do they call it? Armstrong steering. <laughs> Not that hard to put power steering on them. You just buy a uh, later model four bolt steering box and then this um, power steering pump mounts on the front of the engine and then you've got a fluid reservoir obviously. Without the engine anymore I am I will lose the pump basically so I need to replace that so I can't use the Tesla system Tesla is totally different it uses a steering rack which is much better than a steering box and this mounts on the steering rack um, and has a belt uh, that provides well assisted steering for the rack and can do all the steering because it's an, it can actually do full self-driving it's pretty good like it's because it's an important part of the tesla it has two it's got redundancy so it's got two totally si different systems you got two big 12 volt inlets and you got two can bus controllers and then you've got the this mounts on the end of the steering column and it mounts to see if the wheel's turning that sort of thing uh, obviously i can't use that all i need to do is just replace this mechanical fuel uh, pressure pump with an electric one and as it so happens my friend down the road he wrecks a lot of ford focuses and takes a lot to scrap metal so I noticed that those Ford Focuses have electric power steering, electric motor. Uh, it's got built-in fluid reservoir, obviously. Runs off 12 volt. This one here goes to the equivalent of this on the Tesla, which is a steering column sensor. And then it's got a CAN bus, high and low, and an ignition. The thing is, this won't just run if you just put that into 12 volt, connect that to a battery, it's not going to do anything. Um, and even if you connect the ignition to power, it still won't do anything. Um, so it needs a CAN bus message to tell it to turn on. So the sequence is, ignition goes on, it gets power, so then the computer in this is powered up and it waits for an appropriate CAN bus signal, then it powers on. For the controller, I have been using these generic ESP32 boards with a CAN bus transceiver and then a regulator so I can run it off the uh, 12 volt system or more like 14 volt system um, which works fine but it's you got to you know it's three separate parts you've got to solder it all together and there's a much easier way to do that now I wouldn't bother with this anymore and that is just get one of these so it's got an ESP32 in it same as what I had there but it's got a built-in um, regulator so you can run it off 12 volt system uh, it's got inbuilt CAN bus uh, transceiver and everything um, and if you want to control something with RS485 you've got that option too so there we go so you just got power in a CAN bus high and low and there's a ground which you probably don't need to use just made a little 3d printed case for it oh it's got an sd it's also got sd card recording if you want they're not very expensive and it's easy to do Just uh, re-wrapping the harness for the power steering pump. After a bit of uh, testing experimentation, it didn't matter what I did to the CAN bus frames, modifying them, whatever, it just ran at full speed the whole time. Then I realized, whoa, hang on. This is what controls it. I pulled this out of one of his other focuses he was taking to the, to the meta recycler. The pump will speed up and slow down when you're, depending on how you're turning the steering column. So I could just have this running at full speed if I just 
all you got to do is just send the CAN bus message. You only have to send it once, actually. Um, then it'll spin up, and you got power steering, and away you go. But I don't want it all, so I thought I'd try to incorporate this into the Land Rover steering column. And yeah, found a spot where I could do it. I'll show you that. Cool. Oh, it's quite hard to show this. Um, so you can see I've made a little bracket to mount it on. Um, and the, uh, the collar metal ring fits nicely on the column. And that gives the feedback I need. Right, so let's um, turn it on and see how it works. So you can see there, turns on with the ignition, sends the message, turn the wheel, you can hear it speed up. And I'll and change speed when I turn the wheel. If I do it slowly, the motor doesn't do it as much. If I do it fast, the motor speeds up more. So, yeah, it works really well. Quite happy with it. 